Navy KPM. Hmm. I'm going to try to answer this latest format. Hmm. Hmm? Oh, well, I don't really understand this part. Hmm. Wait, let me check. What? What? How? Hi, Nisa. Oh, hi, Mr. Naim. What are you up to? Well, I'm trying to answer the latest format uh, for the exam, but it seems that I cannot understand this particular part. I'm really struggling here, Mr. Naim. Oh, is that so? Hmm. Mm, well, you know what, Nisa? Mm -hmm. Since I'm here, I think I can help you with this and explain each and every question of mm -hmm. the new format. Oh, I'm relieved. That's great. Let's go. Thank you so much, Mr. Naim. All right. I'm so ready to learn about the new format. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Assalamualaikum. Hi everybody. You are watching Dede TV KPM. My name is Nisa K and I will be with you guys for this special one hour session. But before anything else, I would like to remind you of these three important things. What are they? The first one is to always wear face masks when you are outside or wherever you are. Number two, maintain physical distance at least one meter or more. And number three, don't forget to always wash your hands using water and soap or use hand sanitizer when needed. Okay, my fellow candidates of SPM 2021, this is a special episode for you guys because this is where you will be equipped with all the informations you will need for the latest and new format of SPM 2021, especially in the English paper. Let's welcome our special guest for today. We have Encik Na Ahmad Naimullah Rozilat and Puan Alawiyah Muhammad Hussain, both from Pegawai Lembaga Peperiksaan, Lembaga Peperiksaan Kementerian Pendidikan Malaysia. Hi, welcome to Didik TV, Puan Alawiyah and Mr. Encik Naim. How are you guys doing? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> a little bit nervous, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> no worries, no worries. If you guys are nervous, I'll be nervous as well. But no worries. Today, we are going to share so much information uh, for our uh, beloved students. And I would like to ask regarding our format, the new and latest format of SPM 2021. So what are the new things that we can expect from the latest and new format? Uh, Puan Alawiya? Okay, the most obvious difference will be for this new format starting 2021 is we are going to test on your abilities based on the four skills. Mm -hmm. Before this, we only had two papers, mm -hmm. but now we have four papers. Mm -hmm. And they are reading, reading. writing, mm -hmm. speaking and listening. Oh, that's interesting because it doubles up the amount of the papers that they need to answer. Mm -hmm. Mr. Naim, anything to add? Yeah, uh, I would like to add that on top of that, mm -hmm. um, this exam is also aligned ah. to the Common European Framework of Reference, mm -hmm. CEFR. And especially for SPM itself, it mm -hmm. is set at the B1 and B2 level. Okay, yeah. I hope our students at home, they are all ready for this session because we will be giving and share with you guys all the information, important information uh, related to the latest and new SPM 2021 format for English paper. I believe that they can do it well, but they need to understand what they are uh, going to face during the examination that will happen in a few months left, I think uh, around March 2022. Mm. Yeah. Maybe around For that speaking, we'll start earlier. Ah, okay. Probably in speaking. February. Okay, I hope they are all ready. But before that, let's take a break. I'll see you guys after this in Success SPM 2021 on DDAT TV KPM. DDAT TV KPM. Did it TV KPM
Welcome back to Didik TV KPM, a special episode of Success SPM 2021 where we have special guests to share with you, fellow pupils, candidates of SPM 2021 English paper, all the information you need for this new and latest format. But before we start, I would like to invite Encik Naim to sanitize yes. your hands. And with me, I have my own pocket size <laughs> sanitizer as well. Because it's easier that way. And we need to maintain our physical distance here in the studio. Okay. I believe people at home, they are already with all the things that they need, such as paper or notebook and pen to jot down everything they need to know for this, new, uh, for this session of the latest new format, SPM 2021. I think we shall begin. Mr. Naim, the floor is all yours. Okay, thank you, Nisa. And um, I'm going to start straight away. Mm -hmm. uh, so, hello everyone. So, today we will be looking at the new SPM English language format. Mm -hmm. Okay, as, as you mentioned before just now. Mm -hmm. So, we have four skills that, that comes in four papers, which mm -hmm. is reading and use of English, mm -hmm. writing, speaking and listening. Mm -hmm. So, what is new, like we've mentioned before just now as mm -hmm. well, that this exam is actually aligned to the Common European Framework of Reference, also known as the CEFR. Mm -hmm. And this SPM is actually set at B1 and B2 levels. Mm -hmm. Okay, Nisa? Okay. You may start okay. with the slides, Mr. Naim. I'm going to start straight away. Okay, but before that, let's, mm -hmm. let's uh, talk a bit about uh, the subject aims of the English curriculum. Mm -hmm. And we have our subject aims here, which is, um, there are four actually. Uh, the first one is actually to communicate competently and confidently. Mm -hmm. And then the second one is to be well-versed in the emergent literacy. And then the next one is to decide or making decisions through critical and analytical thinking. Mm -hmm. And the last one is to collaborate when it comes to solving problems. Mm -hmm. Okay, the subject objectives there are nine actually. This is from the DSKP itself, Nisa. Okay. Number one is understand meaning. Number two is recognize features of spoken genres. Number three is to communicate information. Mm -hmm. Number four, use different strategies to construct meaning. Number five, to explore and expand ideas. Number six, to respond to different literary texts. Mm -hmm. Number seven, to communicate through print and digital media. Number eight, to communicate with correct language form, style and functions. And to number nine is to appreciate and inculcate values. Mm -hmm. That is the subject objectives. And now we go to the assessment objectives. This is where uh, some of the foundations where we, we actually design our assessment. Mm -hmm. And this is where we, we also derive from the DSKP, mm -hmm. where we uh, test the pupil's ability to correspond and collaborate. Mm -hmm. That's number one. And number two is to understand and process information. Number three, to use information in spoken and written form. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we've highlighted the spoken there because yes. we now have the speaking skills. Mm -hmm. And number four is to respond to text. Number five, to be creative and imaginative. Mm -hmm. And the last one is to use the grammar knowledge effectively. Mm -hmm. So that is the assessment objective. Now, so this is what is all about yes. the SPM English language format. Mm -hmm. As we mentioned just now, we have four skills, which is in which comes in four papers. Mm -hmm. uh, paper one is reading and use of English. Paper two is writing. Paper three is speaking, and paper four is listening. Mm -hmm. As you can see here from the slides, that there are different marks, mm -hmm. but they are actually given equal importance because mm -hmm. uh, it contributes to 25% of the overall yes. marks. Mm -hmm. Okay? As I said just now, it's B1 and B2 levels, mm -hmm. although uh, we report the performance from A2 to C1. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. So now we are going to talk about the reading and use of English paper, which is the paper one. Mm -hmm. Okay? So there are 40 questions. 40 questions across the five parts. Mm -hmm. And this paper lasts around 90 minutes. And last, like the rest of the paper, it is set at B1 and B2 levels. And uh, 
please note that the pupils need to uh, mark their answers in the OMR form. Oh. So I have here with me now okay. the new OMR form which mm -hmm. is designed specifically for this new format. Yes, it looks As you can see, yeah. uh, we used to have all these multiple choice questions but now we have the blanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have the blanks where they need to write the words and the phrases for each question. Oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So this is how it looks like. Ah, very different to what I, I had previously, yeah, many, many years ago. Yeah, back when you were in school, <laughs> right, isn't it? Okay. Okay, okay now, mm -hmm. uh, going straight away to part one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so part one, uh, there are eight questions, okay. uh, which comes in a form of short text. Okay, so this short text, you can expect around um, 80 words mm -hmm. okay, for, each, for each of the short text. And it comes with three option multiple choice questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's look at the sample task. Okay, so the sample task here, we have mm -hmm. notice. Mm -hmm. But please note that the questions might also come in the form of a text message mm -hmm. or advertisement. Okay. So it, it should be either these three, mm -hmm. notice, advertisement, or text messages. Text message. mm -hmm. So now I'm 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 showing the notice one. Mm -hmm. As you can see, there are only uh, three options. Yes. Okay, for part one, and the number of words there should not be more than ninety words. Mm -hmm. This is part one. Okay, we're moving to part two. Okay, part two we have the four option multiple choice close. Mm -hmm. Okay, close text. A close text is actually. Uh, a text where there are certain portion of language or phrases or words are removed. Okay, okay so there will be blanks. There will be mm -hmm. blanks in the text and the blanks are actually 10 gaps. Lah. Okay, mm -hmm. so it represents 10 questions and you can expect to have one longer text of around 250 words. Oh. Okay, so this is part two. So now let's look at the sample task. Okay, we have the sample task here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you can see, there are also an example uh, showed uh, in, in the sample task. And mm. uh, mind you, there's only two questions here, but the actual uh, task should be comprised of 10 questions. 10 questions, okay. okay. Okay, for part three, we have also four option MCQ. Mm -hmm. And again, this is also an, an extended text okay. with eight questions. Oh. Okay. Uh, this is uh, where you can expect uh, a more longer text. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and then um, there will be around five to six paragraphs, mm -hmm. maybe six paragraphs, and the number of words are around six hundred fifty and to seven hundred oh. words. Okay, so in this part of questions, mm -hmm. uh, we can actually uh, try to understand the text, and this is where the pupils will use the different reading strategies. Different, okay? reading, different strategies. reading strategies. Mm. So this is where you can actually um, apply the skills of skimming and mm -hmm. scanning, where you look for main details and specific details. Mm -hmm. Okay, for part three, uh, these are the questions. We have four options there. Mm -hmm. And then part four, there will be a gap text. Okay, so the gap text is actually where the six sentences have been removed mm -hmm. and the student or the pupils have to actually uh, guess mm -hmm. uh, where the sentences were originally placed in the text. Okay. So there will be six questions and one extended text here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the questions. Okay, a camp for future leaders. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you as well uh, the options. Okay, ah, oh. what is unique about this is Although we only have um, six questions, yes. but we also added in uh, two, uh, two more distractors or two more other sentences to work as distractors mm -hmm. to make you know, the task a bit difficult. Yes. Okay, so they have, they have to really understand mm -hmm. the text and get the meaning correct. Okay. Okay, the last part, which is part five, mm -hmm. uh, is actually a combination of um, uh, several tasks where you have matching, mm -hmm. you have information transfer, mm -hmm. you have note completion, okay. or you can also have short answers questions. Oh. Okay, mm -hmm. there will be eight questions and one extended text. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you, you, sh you can expect actually the, the, the text to be around 350 words. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, this is the questions, Nisa. 
Uh, as you can see, there are two types mm -hmm. of tasks mixed together. Questions number 33 to 36 is where we, we can actually find out uh, the paragraph. Mm -hmm. Okay, the paragraph of the idea, where it comes from. And uh, the text itself is actually uh, about 16 sharing mm -hmm. their community service experience. Okay. So questions number 33 to 36 is where they, they find uh, the purpose of the text, the main details mm -hmm. and the main idea. Mm -hmm. And whereas for questions number 37 to 40, mm -hmm. it's where they need to look for uh, correct or accurate or exact words mm -hmm. that need to be come from the text. From okay? the text, okay. okay. So these are all questions and sample tasks mm -hmm. from uh, the reading paper, mm -hmm. or we call it reading and use of English paper. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to explain to you about the writing paper, okay. which is the paper too. All right. Okay, straight away, uh, there are five questions, mm -hmm. but there are only three parts. The paper should last around 90 minutes as well, mm -hmm. uh, set at B1 and B2 levels, and the pupils are expected to write the, the responses or their essay on the question paper. On the question paper, okay. okay. So, uh, these questions actually, mm -hmm. uh, question one is for part one, question two is for part two, mm -hmm. and question three, four, five is for part three. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So you can expect that the part one is, you know, you can expect like being the easiest mm -hmm. and, and the, the third part or the final part is the most challenging. Okay. Lah. Okay. Okay. This is the example of part one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the pupils or the candidates need to write an email response mm -hmm. of about 80 words. Okay. To an, um, uh, it could be email mm -hmm. or it could be, um, informal message mm -hmm. okay just like that and then what we need to understand here is before the people need uh, start to start to plan mm -hmm. or maybe start to write they need to identify the key pieces of information ah. okay so as as i highlighted here mm -hmm. the, the three key pieces of information are where shall we go the and first what, one, that's mm -hmm. the first one. Yes. What can we do there? What can we that's do? the second one. And what should we bring? What should we bring? Yeah. Okay. So the pupils need to really understand that these three key pieces of information really need to be included in their response. Ah. This is very crucial because um, before they begin to plan so that they might be able to produce a relevant response. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this okay. is part one. I can see that they actually think that we're going, we, we need to write in the answer, the one that we highlighted just now, okay? Yeah, yeah So exactly. that's kind of like a keywords? Yes, mm, yes, yes. Keywords. Okay. Okay, now moving on to part two. Mm -hmm. <coughs> this is where uh, the number of responses increases, mm -hmm. where they need to write uh, of about 125 to oh. 150 words. All right. Okay, so in this particular essay, it's actually, uh, it's like a, a response mm -hmm. or text input where they need uh, to highlight mm -hmm. the three bulleted points given to them mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. questions. As you can see there, the three bullet, bullet, the three bullet points is mm -hmm. highlighted there, but they also need to add some of the justifications. Oh, okay, so right. the three bullet points there mm -hmm. need to be included and they also need to write some reasons mm -hmm. to support their view for these questions, mm -hmm. Nisa. Okay, so this is part two. And for part three, there'll be three questions I've mentioned before. Mm -hmm. And the three questions is actually a choice mm -hmm. of between the three. And the first one, we have article. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have article. And then the second one, we have reviews. Mm -hmm. And then the third one, we have story. Story. Okay, I'm oh. pretty sure a lot of people are yeah. actually you know, uh, likes to write stories. Yes. But then again, um, you know, uh, when it comes to a certain task, mm -hmm. we have to understand the language forms, mm -hmm. the language styles, or probably the tone, mm -hmm. and also other grammatical elements that make uh, the task stand as itself. Mm -hmm. Like maybe story, for example. Yes. Uh, sometimes it needs to be uh, written in past tense mm -hmm. because story is actually a recount of experience. Yes. Exactly. Okay, and then uh, for part two, for example, mm -hmm. sorry, uh, for part two, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, for, for the second questions, mm -hmm. we have articles. Yes. Okay, so here, uh, 
the pupils need to understand the language register. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, there are words that you need to write mm -hmm. or there are words that you need to identify whether it makes an article or mm -hmm. probably, you know, uh, a review mm -hmm. uh, like, like this one. Okay, review is a bit, it's a bit unique because it's more of a, uh, speaking from one perspective, yes. uh, telling people about personal thoughts. Tell, yeah, yeah, telling people about uh, their preferences, mm -hmm. okay, what they like or what they dislike mm -hmm. about. And this one, I would like to give uh, some tips on how to write reviews. Mm -hmm. Maybe, for example, a movie review where mm -hmm. you can actually uh, include in the response. Oh. Uh, for example, the first paragraph, mm -hmm. they can actually give an introduction about the movie or the film. Mm -hmm. And then the second paragraph, they can they can highlight it, some of the things that they like, mm -hmm. or probably some of the um, you know positive things that they like about the movie. And then mm -hmm. coming to the next paragraph, they can actually they can always mention about you know things that they they dislike or maybe mm -hmm. things that shouldn't be in a problem, and come up with a summary paragraph where they can actually uh, tell people their recommendation. Mm -hmm. Or maybe even not to bother about yes. the movie at all. You yes. Know? If if the movie is not good. Yeah. <laughs> we have our personal preferences. Some people might like something, and yeah. we might don't like the same thing that they like. Yeah, exactly. But it can be that way. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the three parts. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the part three, the three questions that consist in part three. Mm -hmm. So we have again um, articles, articles, reviews, reviews, and story. story. Okay? okay. So. Um, uh, some of the tips that the students can actually um, uh, use actually to, to get themselves familiarized with mm -hmm. the content. Uh, they, they can probably, um, you know, making uh, some contents or materials and start to practice in class. Ah, okay? yes. And the other thing is, you know what, Nisa? Mm -hmm. It's reading. Ah, you know? Read a lot. <laughs> yeah, just read, read and read. Mm -hmm. I mean, reading truly does wonders in helping you to get familiarized with the content yes. and get connected with the language Yes, Naim. I have to agree. As a book lover, you read a lot. It will definitely help you in whatever you do outside. Okay, now we have gone through the uh, reading and writing parts. I hope you guys can follow and understand the new format. We are going to the next part after this, but before that, let's take a break. I'll see you guys after this in Success SPM 2021 on Didik TV KPM. Didik TV KPM. Didik TV KPM. Thank you for those who are still watching Didik TV KPM. This is Success SPM 2021, a special episode for our fellow SPM 2021 candidates. Just now, we've gone through the reading and writing part with Encik Naim. Now, we have Puan Alawiya with us to share uh, more uh, regarding speaking and listening part. I'm sorry, Puan Alawiya. I got nervous to have you here. <laughs> this is an honour for us in Didik TV KPM. But before that, I would like to invite you to sanitise hands first. As I will be sanitising my hand as well. Okay, now we are ready. Our fellow uh, pupils at home, they are all ready. And I can see that they have their pens and pencil to jot down everything they need to know regarding the speaking and listening part. Okay, over to you, Ponalawia. Thank you, Nisa. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Okay, I'm going to continue with the remaining two components, mm -hmm. which are speaking and listening papers. Okay, we're going to start off with the listening paper, the speaking paper. Sorry, mm -hmm. now I'm nervous, Nisa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the speaking paper tests on your ability to explain routine activities mm -hmm. as well as expressing your opinions on familiar and unfamiliar topics. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now um, we will look at the structure of the paper. All right, there are three parts to the paper. Okay, each part requires you to complete a different type of task. Mm -hmm. Okay, and in total, the paper will last for about 13 minutes and its main focus is at B1 to B2 levels of the CFR, mm -hmm. although it reports your performance from A2 to C1. Ah. All right. Okay, as you know, I think you should know by now, mm -hmm. the format for this speaking paper 
is done in pairs. Mm -hmm. Okay, it means to say that you have to take it face to face. Mm -hmm. There will be two examiners and two candidates. Okay, we hope that this will create a more realistic and reliable measure of your ability to communicate in English with your friends. Okay? okay? All right. Next, let's look at part one. Part one. It's actually very simple, okay? It lasts for about two to three minutes, mm -hmm. and it's actually an interview session between you and the interlocutor. Mm -hmm. The person who's sitting next to you, your teacher, is the interlocutor. Mm -hmm. Okay, the person who is sitting a bit far from you is called the assessor. Mm -hmm. All right, now, in this part, you will be asked questions individually about yourself mm -hmm. and also other familiar topics. For example, um, about school, mm -hmm. home, and also your daily routine. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to show you um, the sample questions for part one. Mm -hmm. As you can see, there are two phases here. When Just now I said this, this part is going to be quite simple, right? Mm -hmm. This is how simple it is. Because oh. in phase one, you, they're just going to ask you about your name. Mm -hmm. And in phase two, they will ask you questions like, what do you do after you wake up? Mm -hmm. You know. So again, in part one, you are not expected to give Long answers here, Nisa. Oh. They shouldn't be talking a lot about themselves here. Mm -hmm. They just want to, we just want them to prepare for the next task. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. Now, we want to show you part one in action where you can see the interlocutor interviews candidates. Let's watch together. Good morning. I'm Puan Sarlina, and this is my colleague, Puan Nur Eliza. She'll just listen to us. First of all, we'd like to know something about you. Now, I'm going to ask you about your daily routine. Okay. All right. See? Mm -hmm. It's quite simple, right? Yes. All right. Now, we move on to the next part, which is part two. In part two, you will talk on your own for one to two minutes mm -hmm. on a particular topic mm -hmm. based on a written input in a form of a general instruction mm -hmm. or maybe content focus prompts, okay? Mm -hmm. I will show you how it looks like later. Okay. But please do know that you are given some time to prepare before you begin speaking, mm -hmm. okay? And this part will last for about three to four minutes for both of you, okay? Right, here. In the real exam, you will only see your question. But for the purpose of this presentation, I'm showing you both questions. Now, because I want you to pretend mm -hmm. to be candidate A, okay. and then your partner is candidate B. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, candidate A, which is you, is given a topic by the interlocutor, mm -hmm. which should be familiar. For example, in this case, a family celebration. Mm -hmm. All right, you are given some time to think, to think about the topic, mm -hmm. okay? And then you can talk about it for one to two minutes. When I say some time, it means here, you are given approximately 20 seconds oh. to prepare. Mm -hmm. Prepare, Nisa here, by preparing, mm -hmm. it means that you are actually planning in your head. Mm -hmm. You are not supposed to bring any pencil or ah. paper in the hall, in the, um, the exam mm -hmm. room, mm -hmm. yeah? All right, and then, um, once you uh, finished, your partner, which is candidate B, will be given another set of questions. Mm -hmm. All right, and then you guys swap roles. Mm -hmm. All right, as you can see here, the grammar and vocabulary range needed for this part is broader than part one. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. Again, to make it clearer to you, mm -hmm. here's part two in action. I'd like you to talk about a family celebration you had recently. First, you have some time to think about what you're going to say. All right, you may start now. Thank you. What was the last celebration you had? Did you have a good time? Why? Okay. Okay. All right, now, next is part three, which is the last part of the speaking paper. Mm -hmm. But there are actually sub two um, subtasks in within part three itself. Mm -hmm. Right. On the whole, though, part three will have, um, re requires you to discuss and then make a decision together on a particular topic. 
All right? This part will last for about four to five minutes. Mm -hmm. And in this part, you and your partner have to discuss together a topic and then answer some follow-up questions. Oh. All right? In doing so, both of you are given about one minute each mm -hmm. to answer another broadening out question. I'm going to mm -hmm. show you later. All right, but first, let's have a look at the sample question for part three. Mm -hmm. Can you see it here? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you can see, we have the question mm -hmm. in the middle of the mind map. Mm -hmm. So this is the task that you are supposed to do with your partner. Mm -hmm. Why do people shop online? So mm -hmm. you're supposed to discuss this topic together with your partner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember though, you are not going to be given extra points for speaking more. Oh. Because what we want to see here is actually whether or not you're able to contribute equally to the discussion. Oh. So I suggest that during the preparation time, which is about 20 seconds again, or maybe a minute, given to you to prepare before you start speaking, you should actually divide the points equally among yourself. Mm -hmm. All right? So maybe what you can do here is to, for example, if you want to give your opinion on one of the points, mm -hmm. so you should actually say something about this, mm -hmm. and then you ask your partner a question about your points. Oh. Okay, or even you can ask your partner to respond to your ideas mm -hmm. and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's how we want to see the discussion mm -hmm. between the two of you. So it's really not about who talks more and longer? No, mm -hmm. not about this one. Okay, okay? all right, next. All right, we will see part three in action. Online shopping is gaining popularity in our country. Here are some reasons why people shop online and a question for you to discuss. Now, talk to each other about the reasons why people shop online. Now, you have about a minute to decide together which is the most popular reason people shop online. Okay, right. so that's how it looks like. Yes, mm -hmm. that's how it looks like. Now, um, as I mentioned just now, mm -hmm. we have another part to part three, another question to part three, okay. which we call it as an extension question. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going, I would like to you to spend a few seconds mm -hmm. and let's read the question together. Okay. All right. It says there, in what ways does advertising on social media Can influence people? people's buying behaviour? Mm -hmm. All right, what do you think the examiner wants to see here? Mm. Yes, the examiner will ask you an open-ended question like that, mm -hmm. which is related to your task before. Okay. But this time, we want to see whether or not you're able to showcase your ability to speak and mm -hmm. give um, your opinions mm -hmm. on the question here. Mm -hmm. Okay, here you only are uh, given up to one minute to answer. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you might want to know, I think, um, whether or not the interlocutor is allowed to say anything during this, during this um, test. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, we, are not we don't encourage mm -hmm. the interlocutor to interrupt, but the interlocutor is allowed to say something mm -hmm. if you, know, you or your partner are going off the topic oh. or when she or he notices that you're running out of ideas. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to show you sample answers of extension question by our candidates. Just a word of caution, though. These candidates have used high vocabulary mm -hmm. and performed very well. But that doesn't mean that you all of you can't aim to be like them. Mm -hmm. Okay? Let's have okay. a look. In my opinion, I think a lot of people... Um, find social media as a platform to shop online because um, it, uh, uh, platforms like Instagram and Twitter, they often showcase big names like celebrities like Kylie Jenner and everything. And when Kylie Jenner buys a specific product, it helps prompt her audience to be interested in it. Yes, I do agree with Alia, but I would add another point. Uh, nowadays, there are a method of advertising called sponsoring. It's where brands such as makeup brand Maybelline, where they sponsored celebrities or endorsers or influencers. And therefore, it can attract their fans and audiences to buy the product that they sponsored. 
And that's how it looks like. And I'm quite invested in the answers, actually, Puan Alawiyah. Yes, very mm -hmm. interesting answers given by our candidates. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, so um, in, in summary, mm -hmm. I think in order for you to be good in this um, part is mm -hmm. actually to try to showcase a range of speaking ability okay. using many of the functions and grammar mm -hmm. and also try to justify your opinions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I think it's time for us to move to our next paper, which is the listening part. Thank you, Nisa. All right. Let's have a look at the last paper mm -hmm. that's offered starting 2021, which is the listening paper 119 stroke 4. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, the listening paper has 30 questions. Each question carries one mark. Mm -hmm. There are four parts to the paper. And the paper lasts for around 14 minutes, mm -hmm. okay? Each listening text will be heard twice, mm -hmm. okay? It means it's going to be played to you two times. Okay. All right. And you will also hear in this paper a variety of voices, styles of delivery and accents, oh. okay? Because we want to try, uh, we aim to reflect the local as well as international backgrounds yes. in our paper. Mm -hmm. All right. Like the rest of the paper, listening paper is actually focusing on B1 and B2 levels of the CFR. Mm -hmm. All right. OM art form. This is where you're going to put your answers ah, in. Okay. As you can see what, here. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. You should write your answers. Mm -hmm. When we play the audio okay. in the exam hall, mm -hmm. you should write your answers on the exact question paper. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you are given six minutes to transfer your answers ah. onto the OM art form here. Oh, so that's the six minutes I use for, the yes. transfer time. Okay. Yes. Okay. If you see here, mm -hmm. you see um, this is actually custom made. You mm -hmm. know, this is actually um, new. Mm -hmm. This type of OM art. OM art yes. is new. Mm -hmm. This is um, spe spe specially mm -hmm. <laughs> um, created, yes. you know, to, to fit the new format for ah, listening paper. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. This is my first time seeing it too. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. Next. Part one. Okay. Part one, um, there are seven three option multiple choice questions. Mm -hmm. And each will correspond to one audio text, okay. which means to say, yeah. with, if we have seven questions, mm -hmm. you will hear seven short audios. Oh, okay. okay. You have lis you have to listen to the short extracts mm -hmm. and then choose from one of the options mm -hmm. to answer the question. Okay. All right. Next one. Mm -hmm. I will show you the sample question for part one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Listen carefully and try to answer. Okay. Okay. Let's take a listen. You hear a girl talking about watching movies. Mm -hmm. I usually enjoy watching my favorite movies and cartoons on weekends. Action movies are good, but I'm not that keen if there's too much violence. I wouldn't waste any time on horror movies either. I'll have trouble sleeping after watching them. I guess I enjoy watching fantasy the most, where there's magical kingdoms and dragons. As for romance... Well, I don't really enjoy that. Okay. Okay, did you get the answer, Nisa? I think I get the answer. Okay. I think. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Mm. The answer is C. C. Oh, All I right. actually jot down my answer is C. Oh, uh, This is the proof. This well is the done, proof. Nisa. You see, why? Mm -hmm. Why is it C? Mm -hmm. Because she mentioned just now that she likes fantasy movies, yes. right? Which we mm -hmm. can assume let her use her imagination. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Next one. Next one. Moving on quickly to part two. In part two, this uh, you will see eight questions mm -hmm. on longer monologue. Oh. All right. And um, you have to... Uh, what we are testing here mm -hmm. are to see your ability to understand the main ideas and mm -hmm. specific information, mm -hmm. whether or not you are able to recognise okay. attitudes or opinions of the text. Mm -hmm. Understand independent, independently, mm -hmm. longer, of more complex narratives. Okay. And also, if you're able to guess the meaning of unfamiliar words. Ah. Right. Well, let's have a look at the sample question for part two. Okay. All right. I have to um, tell you here, though, mm -hmm. the full task will have eight items in total. Okay. All right. But you're just seeing one question here. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's listen to an extract from the sample two tasks. 
And please also bear in mind that the, dif the main difference mm -hmm. between part one and part two is that all eight questions in part two are related to just one long text. Oh. Okay? Let's listen. Okay. Everything is everything when you ride a skateboard. You have to learn how to bend your knees properly and move your weight around the deck. I remember the first time I saw a pro skateboarder. He came to our new skate park and put on a demo. When I saw him zoom up and down the ramp, I knew I wanted to do that too. I watched as he got ready to do a trick and when it worked out, I could see the pleasure spread across his face. We all cheered, including the parents and the little kids. But I think I cheered the loudest. Mm -hmm. When it was over, he threw things to us. Caps, t-shirts, wheels, shoes, and even a skateboard with his name on it. I caught a t-shirt and I wear it nearly every day. It's my lucky shirt. We can hear some emotions in the audio. <laughs> okay, did you get the answer for this one? I think the answer is C, watching a skateboarder showing some of his skills because he mentioned about the tricks that he watched the skateboarder did. Very good. Ah, answer. Okay. <laughs> the answer is actually C. Mm -hmm. Because Roy says, mm -hmm. when I saw him zoom up and down, yes. I knew I wanted to do the same. Mm -hmm. So, that's what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. All right, now, before we move to the next slide, mm -hmm. Um, let's just think about what is testing here. Mm -hmm. What do you think that we are trying to test here? Mm, I think, well, oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Actually, what I'm trying to say here is mm -hmm. that like most of our items, mm -hmm. our questions in listening paper, mm -hmm. we are um, mostly t trying to test the student's ability to identify main ideas or specific ah. detail. All right? All right. Okay, now, next one. Part three. Part three, you will hear five short monologues mm -hmm. and you have to match one option from a list of seven sentences mm -hmm. with each monologue. Okay, and I will show you the sample question here. Okay. Actually, it's sample questions because we have, as I mentioned just now, mm -hmm. we have seven situations mm -hmm. and you have to match the five speakers to what is said here. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, let's hear to the audio. Let's hear the audio for speaker first. And then if you can try, try to think about what is the testing focus for this question. Okay? Are you okay, ready? Okay, I'm All ready. Right. <laughs> speaker one. Before I buy something, I look at the advantages and disadvantages of buying it. I ask myself why I need it, where I'll put it, and what it's for. If I can't give definite answers to these questions, I may want it, but will probably decide I don't need it. Ah. Hmm. All right, okay. so what's the answer? I think the answer is ask yourself if an item is really necessary. You got it right, Nisa. Ah, well done. Okay, God. let's move to the final part of the listening paper, which mm -hmm. is part four. Mm -hmm. Okay, part four requires you to listen to a dialogue mm -hmm. or an interview, really, mm -hmm. um, and complete a summary text which has 10 gaps in it or mm -hmm. 10 blanks in it. All right? What you need to do is to actually write down the correct word that you hear from the audio. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, let's have a look at the sample question first and okay. then I explain further. All right. Uh, now. Here's an extract mm -hmm. from a sample part four task about a student exchange program. In this extract, you can see only four blanks or four gaps. But in real, in, in total, you actually have 10 gaps mm -hmm. to, to do. Oh, All right. Okay. So um, let's hear the audio first, shall we? So Aslan, you've just returned from an exchange program in Italy. How was it? It was amazing. It was one of the greatest trips of my life. Mm -hmm. How did you know about this program? It all started when my teacher announced that there would be a student exchange program. We could choose to go either to Italy or France. In the past, I had always ignored these programs, but for some reason, this year, it caught my attention. So, did you apply straight away? I think my biggest concern was that I had a limited budget, but I didn't let that stop me. 
I went ahead with the application, and it was successful. My parents were a bit worried about how I would handle life away from home. Of course, I'd never traveled that far before, so I had to buy a new suitcase. Okay. Okay. Let me just show you mm -hmm. what the answer is. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the word budget fits nicely in gap twenty-one. Yes. Yes. Remember. It's important that you need to use just one word as your answer, mm -hmm. and then please do not invent your own word ah. in there. Okay, use don't use different words or don't invent any synonyms. Mm -hmm. Okay, you need to write down the answers based on what you hear. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think that's all from us. Okay. Okay. We hope that this has been a very useful um, session for all of you in helping you to understand our new format better. Okay, thank you so much, Puan Alawiyah. We will be back with both Puan Alawiyah and Encik Nain after this. Let's take a break. I'll see you guys after this in Success SPM 2021, Didik TV, KPM. Didik TV, KPM. Didik TV, KPM. Welcome back to Success SPM 2021 on Didik TV KPM. You're still with me, Nisa. We have Encik Naim and Puan Alawiyah, both uh, pegawai Lembaga Peperiksaan, Lembaga Peperiksaan Kementerian Pendidikan Malaysia. So earlier, Encik Naim explained to us in details uh, regarding the reading and writing parts and Puan Alawiyah has walked us, walk us through the speaking and listening part. So I have questions. Ah, I've sure been saving these questions <laughs> from the moment we start the show. Okay, number one for Encik Naim. I actually wonder for reading paper why are some of the multiple choice tasks use three options and some with four options? Okay, mm -hmm. uh, actually, mm -hmm. um, it is something which is a feature of B1 level. Ah. You know, um, having the three option questions mm -hmm. on a practical level is mm -hmm. just more effective mm -hmm. because it's good to have one. Uh, key or the answer mm -hmm. plus two good distractors. Uh -huh. But four option items, on the other hand, mm -hmm. uh, do not work any more effectively than the three option unless mm -hmm. it is at a much higher level, which is, you know, B2 and above, mm -hmm. where you can find more complex meaning mm -hmm. and uh, which we can find actually in mm -hmm. the later stages uh -huh. uh, in the reading paper. Okay, thank you so much, Encik Naim. Puan Alawiyah, why? In the speaking test, why mm -hmm. is it important to time the students? I don't. I think it will make them a little bit nervous. Oh, we have like one minute to answer this <laughs> like that. <laughs> Despite that, though, mm -hmm. actually, by having a timer or sp mm -hmm. stopwatch, watch, the interlocutors are actually helping the candidates or the pupils to keep track of their time. Uh -huh. Because as what they need to worry really mm -hmm. is to um, to 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 explain or mm -hmm. to give the answers. It's the mm -hmm. job of, of the interlocutor to mm -hmm. actually um, time them. Okay. okay. So um, we, we hope that uh, they will not have to worry about the timing and keep on talking. Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. Okay, thank you so much, Puan Alawiya. I, I need to ask this. Do you have any tips or any uh, wishes to our fellow student uh, SPM 2021 candidates? Encik Naim? Yeah, I think... Um, uh, uh, what I can say is knowledge is of no value, you mm -hmm. know, unless you, you, you try to start practicing it mm -hmm. every day and every time. Okay, yeah. Puan Alawiya? Um, not really it's a tip, but really actually in order for you to get the right and correct information about mm -hmm. the format that's introduced, I think you should always check out our website, mm -hmm. okay? Do check out Lembaga Paperiksaan website from time to time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you so much, Encik Naim and Puan Alawiya for being with us today. I am so excited for our fellow SPM 2021 candidates. I hope you guys will understand a little bit more and in a deeper details uh, of what the new format is all about. I believe you guys can answer this and if you need to understand a little bit more about what Encik Naim and Puan Alawiya has uh, explained to us today, you can rewatch this episode on Didik TV KPM YouTube channel. Keep watching Didik TV KPM. I wish you guys all the best and good luck for SPM 2021. I'll see you guys very, very soon on Didik TV KPM. My name is Nisa K. Assalamualaikum. Bye.